We're Craig and Kirsty, a British couple who got married on a beach in 2018. And instead of a honeymoon, we decided to travel the world together. And so we created Time Not Travellers. On March the 1st, 2020, we left our home and jobs behind us as we boarded a one-way flight. A few short weeks later, the global pandemic brought the whole world to a stop and all our travels were cancelled. Undeterred, we stayed put and continued our adventure exploring the country we were in, Estonia. Between us, we have visited 51 countries and we'd love you to join us as we continue our travels and explore the world. We are exploring our first town, our first stop on our tour around Estonia. It's the cute little town of Hapsalu, which dates back to 1279 and it's on the west coast of Estonia. It's about an hour and a half's drive from Tallinn. A very straightforward drive, that is. <laughs> yeah, we happen to be here on a pretty cool day because there's a music festival happening over the next few days. So it seems quite busy. There's lots of people coming in. Um, but we're just going to go and check out the castle and the promenade, which is meant to be beautiful along here. Yeah, it's right on the coast. Yeah, right on the coast. And then we're going to head over to the train station because apparently we've been told by the locals that it's the longest covered train station in Europe, 215 metres or something. It's got a lovely, a beautiful old town area and it seems to have a main street with lots of little coffee shops and restaurants and things. So we're going to go in and check those out as well. Um, but it does really feel like there's a lot of hustle and bustle here today with um, we wondered what was going on and yeah. it became apparent that there's a music festival so it'd be great to see what happens with that um, otherwise there's just loads of uh, decorations um, from the street lamps and there's flowers everywhere it's just so quaint and beautiful let's go and see what there is to see in absolute just about to head into the tourist information center to find out more about what there is to do here. We can get the train Better. at two o'clock okay. and the music festival is happening inside the dome church. Yes. Yeah. Oh amazing, okay. Right. So we've just been in the tourist information center, got ourselves a little map of Hapsalu they're really helpful in there yeah so our plan is we are going to go and check out the castle and it turns out that the music festival is actually happening inside the dome um, at five o'clock and eight o'clock today yeah inside the castle yeah yeah um so we're going to go check that out before it gets too busy there yeah. <laughs> then we're going to head over to the train station go on a cute little train with a tour around absolute and then we're going to head over towards the coast to show you the promenade from the coastline so hopefully we can do all of that the rain getting us but we'll see <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of april showersy weather but the forecast isn't to be trusted because it's supposed to be raining right now and so it's gloriously sunny windy but sunny time's going to check out the castle We have come straight in to see the castle, which is literally straight off of the main street in Hapsalu. It's really cute. Within the grounds, you've got a children's play area that's been built here and goes all the way across. And then behind us, you've got the main castle, which dates back to the 13th century. Hap 
absolute castle was originally built as the main residence of the Bishop of Sarah Lane. It is an example of early Gothic architecture mixed with Romanesque elements. The Round Chapel is the site of the famous legend of the White Lady, an Estonian maiden who entered the monastery to be with her love and therefore broke the rules. All women were forbidden to enter. As punishment, she was put inside a cavity in the wall, trapped and left to die. The legend affirms that as her soul could not rest after this tragic and cruel ending, she still wanders the walls of the castle as a ghost, grieving the loss of her beloved man and proving the immortality of love. The legend says that every night of full moon, the White Lady can be seen in the window of the baptistry where she died. So you can get entrance to the castle via the museum, which is 10 euros per adult. So it seems pretty cool, but we don't have time to go in today because we've got lots to do. So we're going to head off and go and get the train. Yeah, 10 euros for adults and I think it was 5 euros for concessions, which seems fair for the history museum and the castle. You can go up and all around the castle walls and just behind us, you can see they're setting up for the festival this evening. Castle, so you can see the castle is just over there behind the trees. You can actually climb one of the turrets on the castle wall and check out these stairs that I've just come up. They're so narrow and it's so steep that they've had to angle them like that. Actually works really well. It's quite tiring coming up though, but check out these views. You can see the sea over there. We've just spent about an hour walking around Hapsalu Castle. It's, it's really, really cool. yeah, it's a really beautiful little castle. And now we're going back outside the walls of the castle and we're gonna go and explore a little bit more of the town. Yeah, we've just come back up to where we arrived in the car park yesterday. We've just found this beautiful little street called Linda and it leads right from the museum and castle car park straight down to the seafront promenade. Yeah, and then look what's just coming towards us. <laughs> Got the little train. This is what we plan to hop on in about 45 minutes. Cute, that's little Peter.
really pretty down here by the seafront on the promenade. It's so well set up. There's restaurants, places to sit, gardens with flowers. We've just seen a load of ribbons. There's also a, a stage over there. So I imagine they have occasional events and over our shoulder <laughs> out in the middle of the water there's a polar bear which you can imagine in the winter yeah. when it's all frozen over and there's ice and snow he probably looks pretty cool he then. fits in really well at the moment yeah. it looks a little bit out of place <laughs> yeah on a really sunny day like today <laughs> when it's 22 <laughs> degrees yeah Now we're on the windy western facing side of Hapsalu. Yeah, it's such a quaint, cute place. I love it. On this peninsula, you can literally walk from one side, being by the sea on the promenade, to the other side in a minute yeah. or two. long but what is here is quality small and perfectly formed yeah so now there's a co-op here and we're going to go in there and grab lunch and then head over to the train station to get on the train around the town the joys of buying pastries in co-op in estonia you basically have to have a bag for each pastry because a number corresponds to each one and then you have to punch in that number it weighs it and then it gives you a sticker with a barcode on one of these and then you attach it to the bag what easy easy when you get it right <laughs> <laughs> like this Kirsty's favorite so after a quick co-op lunch we've made the 10-15 minute walk out to the train station where they've got the museum and we can jump on the the train that goes around Hapsalu. Hopefully we can get tickets and I feel like it might rain. <laughs> <laughs> we feel like we've timed this really well because the clouds are gathering, it's looking really ominous so if we can get on the train and go around town in shelter then that would just be perfect <laughs> for the day. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go see. The train station looks really pretty. It is really pretty. the rain we've made it onto the train you can buy tickets from the train station museum they are five euros each for an adult and like Kirsty said we've made it just in time because it's starting to rain and the five euros gives you entry to the museum and a 45 minute train journey around Absalu in the little train called Little Peter <laughs> it's fantastic so we're gonna very smug having walked around in the, <laughs> in the sun, sun this morning yeah. we're now gonna sit in shelter and get driven around yeah. Are you ready? Here we go. That was such good timing. <laughs> Still getting pretty wet. Natives missed one of my own bacon.
And that is the end of the tour of Hapsalu. <laughs> now we're gonna go check out the railway museum. It looked like there were some awesome trains around the other side. Let's go and check that out. We've just come to the train station and museum and it's famous for being the longest covered railway station in Europe. Apparently it's 215 meters. Amazing. It's pretty long. And I'm pretty glad it's covered because it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> There's quite a few trains um, stationed here as well. So I don't know if we can go on them, but we're just going to have a little wander around and take a look at them. National Park is a nature reserve that spans an area of 486 kilometres squared. A 20 minute drive south from Hapsalu and you can find yourself here among the beauty of nature and one of Europe's most important waterfowl resting areas between the Arctic and Western Europe. It is a true paradise for bird lovers. We climbed a couple of the cleverly built bird watching towers to take in the scenery. We hoped to maybe spot an elk or two and headed up the Clue Street observation tower but didn't quite manage to see any. Still, with views like this, we were not complaining. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, it's free and means so much to us as it helps us to keep creating these videos. Ring the bell and you'll see each time we share a new adventure. See you next time. Join us next time as we leave the Estonian mainland and head over to explore one of Estonia's most beautiful islands, Hiuma. We are... <laughs> we have a... <laughs> oh my God. First, first shot of the day. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, which seems which seems fair for uh, history museum. Which seems fair for history museum. Is it history museum? Um, the tickets were five euros each. You can buy it from the train station museum. Oh, it's kicking off. <laughs> and the five euros gives you. Um, and the five euros gives you. Although our legs might get a little bit wet. Our rain. It's nice to sit down. <laughs> yeah, our raincoats are going to be used. <laughs>